time to talk about what's going on at the Columbus Library. Some exciting news this past week. We've got a new one open. Ben. We have a brand new library open, Hattie. <laughs> it's, it's our Carl Road branch here. And uh, we are so excited. Columbus Metropolitan Library, just to give you some background, uh, has 23 locations serving Franklin County. And over the past decade, we have been working to renovate or rebuild 10 of them, including our main library downtown. Well, this past Thursday, we cut the ribbon on our new Carl Road branch, which marks number 11. We're calling it phase two of our building program. So now our sights turn to Hilltop. We have a new Hilltop branch and we'll be cutting the ribbon here in just a few weeks on September the 30th. Also, we broke ground earlier this summer on a new branch for Gahanna, which we hope to open in early 2023. And we'll be uh, building a new Reynoldsburg branch as well, which will likely open shortly thereafter. So lots going on. But as you can see behind me, this new Carl Road branch is not the library that you are likely accustomed to seeing or imagining when you think of what a library is. This is just the children's area behind me. It's huge. <laughs> it does look uh, huge. <laughs> it is. So if, if any of your viewers uh, are familiar with our, our former Carl Road branch, it was 20,000 square feet. We have doubled it uh, to 40,000 square feet. This building sees so much activity here in the Northland community, particularly in the after school hours. Our school help centers are open here again uh, at all of our locations. So uh, giving K through 12 students the one-on-one -on -one help that they need with their schoolwork. Check our website, columbuslibrary.org, to see what the school help center hours are at the branch near you, and come check us out. It's pretty exciting because you're not just out there helping students. You're actually trying to help adults find and land jobs. That's right. Uh, you know, both here at our Carl Road branch and at our Hilltop branch when it opens on September 30th, we will be offering job help services for adults seeking new or better jobs. Our staff uh, during select hours will be available to help with resume writing, cover letter writing, interview skills and techniques, um, filing unemployment claims and, and any other needs as well. So visit our website, columbuslibrary.org and there is an adults subhead. And if you hover over that, you can click on job help and learn more. We have tons of online resources as well, but you're right. We're so much more than just books anymore. We're really about supporting young minds and also supporting our adult customers as well. It's important to know that if you are going to the library, you are going to have to wear a mask, which is why you're wearing yours. You, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm smiling beneath this <laughs> mask. It's, you know, it's a small price to pay. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it sounds like you've got a lot of exciting things going on and hopefully a lot of people get on out there and they start reading and, and accessing some of the help in that beautiful new building. That's right. And you know, we have in-person story times have restarted as well at most Excellent. of our locations. You can find the schedule on our website. We have tons of virtual programs still available. Again, it's all listed on our website. It's all free. You don't even need a library card. Although we always say it is the most valuable card in your wallet. Awesome. Ben, thank you so much. Thank you, Hattie.